sure you guys know, uh, the new Star Wars movie, Star Wars The Last Jedi, has came out. Has some mixed reviews. Some people think it's good. Some people think it's bad. Uh, it looks like the critics have kind of gone off on the movie. But, you know, whether it was good or bad depends on who you ask. Very heavily, I would say. I have not personally seen it. But I have read some spoilers to spoil it for other people. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, though. But, anyways, let's get to the topic here. So, what you're going to be seeing here is uh, this crazy guy named Stefan Molyneux. And we're going to talk about him and his kind of situation in a minute. But what you're going to be seeing is him talking about this movie. And what he does is he'll, like, you know, whatever a popular movie like Star Wars or. The previous movie was It that comes out. He'll do a review on it and basically somehow tie it into something to do with whatever his world whatever his world beliefs are. And in this case, it's going to be that the white race is basically dying out. And that, you know, there's only 8% and that. That was the implicit message. It wasn't explicit, but it was the implicit message of the movie. Check it out and then we're going to talk about it here. When I was watching the movie, you know, this... Um numbers were floating around in my head. And I think they're worth talking about. You know, everyone goes insane when they think the polar bears are dying off when they're not. But uh, whites are, what, about 8% of the world's population now? And very top heavy, as I said, in terms of age. So whites, 8% of the world's population, they're old, uh, numbers are declining enormously. Endangerment is a significant reality. And I really think that it's important to look at this movie, absorb this movie, Absorb its message, though, the message I don't believe was explicitly intended by the writers. But more diversity is more failure. And uh, whites at 8% of the world population, man, you better start waking up. First of all, this is just complete dog shit, bullshit. It makes no sense at all. There's nothing to show that that's an implicit thing. I don't even know why he was thinking about any of this, but this kind of brings me to a specific topic that I wanted to talk about. Of a lot of these right-wingers, to me it seems that Stefan Molyneux is one of the mentally uh, more unhealthy people of all these guys. Because when you start to take things like Star Wars or like the movie It that are supposed to be for pure entertainment. And number one, you, you, you think about it so much to the point where you're extrapolating and making claims that there are implicit messages that are clearly not there. But you're not enjoying the movie for what it is. And I know that movies do tend to have certain underlying messages a lot, um, but in these cases, it's not. And I honestly prefer more to keep it just with the movie and just keep it entertaining. But I feel like he's very mentally unhealthy, and I think you can see that from the way he talks. Everything he thinks is politics. He's a fake philosopher. He's trying to win this culture war that apparently he's so desperate in. He has to, you know, take movies and mix and mash them to be like these kind of things. It's really ridiculous, but this is just so stupid. Nothing of that is really happening, and I think it's because the Star Wars cast was a lot more diverse than you'll see other movies like, and I think that that kind of threw him off a bit. And this is something that he does a lot in a lot of movies, and with like movies like it, because he's perceiving himself to be losing the culture of war so much that he is so desperate that he has to do crazy things like this. And again, he just seems so mentally unhealthy to me. He seems to be consuming, thinking about politics too much, consuming politics too much. I don't know if the dude has any fun in life because he doesn't look, he looks like the dude's 80 years old. He's just been pondering all this time. You got to have life. You got to have some fun entertainment. Stop trying to turn the movies like it and Star Wars into some, you know, stuff to push your racism. Just stupidity, massive stupidity. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below, leave a like and share the video, help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways, links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.